What is going on beautiful people? It's Brandon J and today we have an absolute certified banger for you guys. Actually the end of the day we're about to go home but today's video changed. It was going to be a surprise survival challenge because I did not put gas in the boat <laughs> and we were going out miles to go spearfishing but it turned into such a crazy spearfishing day um, that it's now changed to the ultimate grouper catch and cook. Uh, today we're gonna go out well I guess in this video we're gonna go out spear and just try some new spots that we never tried before and uh, it's a certified banger so I hope you guys enjoyed today's video we're just gonna get straight to it straight into the spear action then get a bunch of grouper go to Walmart get the items we need to properly prepare these things and then get a crazy little catch and cook with four different special seasonings i'll keep you guys up to date with all that stuff but let's get into the wild spear action with the one and only jay gad former cameraman now florida wildlife commission officer saving the world one animal and or fish at a time but only in the state of florida we don't care about those other states <laughs> all right with that being said we're gonna get into the video hope you guys enjoyed it it's a certified banger please drop a like because well, there was a giant bird. Also, today's video is sponsored by Omaze. Just wanted to throw that in there. Almost forgot. But Omaze, thanks for sponsoring today's video. Stay tuned for what you guys can get through them. It's it's like, it's always the craziest giveaways. You know how Omaze does. <laughs> Sorry. But yeah, drop a like. All right, let's get into it. Flashbacks to my shark days. Let's get back. Woo I got my revenge, baby. Why did I say I thought it was close? This fish is huge. Look at that, baby. That's a freaking good fish. All right, let's put her up on that. She's got to be 24. She's well almost 30, bro. Almost a dirty 30. My biggest one ever, I think, is 30 or 32. But that's a freaking really, really nice fish. I'll uh, I'll take that as my first fish back. So, <laughs> heck yeah. Let's go, bro. That's making up for the ones I got away last time. So let's get her in the fish box, baby. I, I re bro, I hope to God you shoot that 35 you're talking about. You know how epic that would be? Well, we are uh, still getting after it, but we got a freaking mega giant I wanted to show you guys. It is uh, what makes this place so cool and so freaking scary at the same time. What's up, Reefer? Look at this. Big old friggin' boat ain't coming, man. What you think about that reefer? That big old boat. Big old boat. Golly. Look at that thing. Jeez. Little do they know, there's a bunch of grouper sandwiches right below. <laughs> Oh my god, dude. Oh my god. I did it. This thing is so big. 
Jumping out of the water real quick to tell you about the sponsor of today's video, which is Omaze. If you guys aren't familiar, Omaze is absolutely insane. They give away one of a kind experiences and prizes all while donating to chosen charities all around the world. This giveaway is the next level though. You guys know I have my truck and my boat. Omaze is giving away the ultimate adventure duo. And honestly, it's pretty fire. Omaze is giving away a Can-Am Maverick X3 and a Chevy Tahoe Z71 to tow it. The 2021 Can-Am Maverick X3 Max X RS Turbo RR with Smart Shock. This thing is absolutely next level. It has 195 horsepower, has a ton of special features. Just a couple are 14 inch B-Lock wheels and 30 inch tires. Fox Podium Racing Shocks, 22 inches of suspension travel, LED headlights and tail light. Just as good and if not better is the 2021 Chevy Tahoe. It has 355 horsepower, 20 inch Fuel, Rebel Wheels, Toyo Open Country MT Tires, Hill Descent Control, 25.5 cubic feet of cargo space, 10.2 inch infotainment screen, panoramic sunroof, and honestly, the list goes on and on. Either way, both items are next level and they're so cool. As you guys know, Omaze always does their giveaways with charities as well. This charity is the Boys and Girls Club of America. Boys and Girls Club of America enables young people, especially those who need it most, to reach their full potential. So to potentially win a Can-Am Maverick X3 and a Chevy Tahoe Z71 and support the Boys and Girls Club of America, go to the link in the description below, which is omaze.com slash Jiggin Chevrolet. That's omaze.com slash Jiggin Chevrolet. Omaze, thank you so much for sponsoring today's video. Super cool what you guys are doing and all of you guys watching, if you wanna go participate, it's a very cool one to win. All right, thanks again. Let's hop back in the water and keep getting after it. I'm, gu I'm guessing right now 34 inches. This is the biggest grouper in a minute. Yeah. Hey, the best part, I was ready to put a second shot in him, but I couldn't catch up. <laughs> oh God. Tampa oh. Bay. Hold on. Look at that. Oh my goodness. <laughs> oh, that's oh naughty. My goodness. Dude. Dude, and there's more. And there's more. Yeah. From the surface, bro. Yeah, nobody thought a 30, <laughs> 34 would be that easy. <laughs> that's a massive. <laughs> Look at the colors he changed. He marbled up. Dude. That's wicked. <laughs> Holy smokes, Brandon. That's wicked. I mean, mine looks like a baby compared to that. We thought mine was big, dude. We thought mine was a freaking just behemoth. <laughs> I don't know. They're both huge. I they're mean, yours big. is just like dominant as hell, but look at that. Yours is marbled up. That's so beautiful. I'm this supposed to pull the trigger and they're jet. Good fish. You got him? Huh? Yeah, get get Travis over. I'm gonna hunt mine down. Let's go. Limits, baby. Good job, bro. Limits. He's bigger than mine. Huh? I think yours is bigger than mine. Yeah. I was looking at it for like 45 seconds. And then I hear the battery die and I'm like, no. Nah. Nice. Pull trigger. Uh, 26 mine is. I thought I was gonna freaking drown. Dang my battery died. Well, <laughs> the last clip you saw on the GoPro is me staring at this fish like should I shoot it? Wow, we limited out. Are you kidding me? I think he's 27. Yours is. He yeah, is. Almost 28. Wow. I got a 26. Man. We. We killed it. Killed at it. the buzzer. At the buzzer for real. As happy as I am right now, there is a slight bit of disappointment because you saw how crazy we were when Jared got his just like mega fish. There was another one down there in the sand and he just took off but i knew he's down there and i knew patience was key but as soon as i heard the gopro beep off i was like 
I gotta go ahead and shoot the fish that I had on camera. So it was war though. He took me into a pipe. I had to rip him out of the pipe. He went inside. He went inside the pipe. He took off and then went into the pipe. Those fish know where they're at. Like they know the surroundings, but unreal. Crazy, 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 but freaking limited out on goopies. Been a been a long time since that. Oh my. You gotta do it Look quick. I can't hold him up. <laughs> That's just dumb. Uh, That's sick, bro. Gosh. Cheers. Cheers. <laughs> Doing 30 foot drops. Drop at the drop at the drop. Just like big deep breath holes. We freaking six foot of water. <laughs> I think, think we're just advanced snorkeling at this point. We're just on top, bro. That feels good, baby. It's boat ramp bragging time. <laughs> Absolutely. Dude, that makes me so happy. I gotta tell Travi. So, we just pulled up to uh, load the boat and everything up. I'm about to show you guys the fish, but there's some guys over there. There's two guys on a jet ski fishing and that used to be Jay Gad and I. We used to just go out on the jet ski and uh, oh, just man. send it right out here. And look where we are now. I have faith in those guys. They're going places. They're people, a long way. <laughs> people that are willing to go to those links, like yes. they got the fire in it. So if Absolutely. you guys are watching this, and that if that's you watching this, then I believe in you. Limits of gags are in your future. Yeah, limits of gags are <laughs> very soon in your future. Uno, dos, tres. Uh, quattro. <laughs> Cinco and seis for that one. I mean, that is like a absolute tank. Oh, man. Ladies and gentlemen, officially we have limited out on grouper as of, well, I don't have the date because my watch is still in dive mode, but just know we haven't done this in years. So this is super, super special. And to have a behemoth like that guy, 34 <laughs> inches, that Woo. just does not happen especially in like 10 foot of water in Tampa. Be prepared for Chef Boy RB to get into the kitchen with these groupers. Two of these groupers. This one wouldn't even fit in my kitchen. That's Jay Gad, so hopefully you got a big kitchen. You're gonna need a big kitchen. Hopefully you bought a big cooler today. It's a, it'll work. It'll work. <laughs> <laughs> All right. All right, with that being said, we're gonna, we're gonna go ahead and get to the, uh, the store here. We'll see you guys soon. Good morning, beautiful people. It's bright and early on the next day. We gotta go to Walmart and get our vacuum sealer for the fillets and a fillet knife. Come back, clean everything up, and then we get to do the cooking test. We have four different seasonings. We're gonna put to the battle royale of which one tastes best on a grouper because I don't think the farmer himself, Flair, has tried it on grouper. I could be wrong, but we're gonna test them out. We're gonna see. On a completely different side note, today is a wonderful day because I threw on some darn tough socks. You guys ever had a good pair of socks? I threw some on this morning. I can just tell it's gonna be a freaking good day. I don't know, something about a nice, comfortable pair of socks that just really gets me going in the morning. Uh, also, while we're talking about clothing, it's your boy, Brandon J. The last day you can get my merch that you know and love that you see me wear in the past years on my channel is Thanksgiving, I believe. After Thanksgiving, Jiggle with Jordan merch will no longer be available, at least the old school stuff. The old school as in like everything we've done to this point. It's gonna be gone. So if you guys want that, get it soon. If you wanna get it for someone for Christmas or they want something specific, get it soon, cause it's going away. There's some new stuff coming but all the old stuff is going away. It's gone forever. It's sad to say, because I love it too. With that being said, let's rip over to Walmart, get the stuff we need, and then get over here and start touching those slimy fish. Why is that music so loud? We're gonna get copyright in here for sure. Uh, we got the electric fillet knife. I can't really show you much more because I don't want to get copyrighted. It's so freaking loud. Okay, moving on. Wow, well, due to copyright infringement laws and Walmart just out there freaking blasting some music we didn't film the rest of our shopping extravaganza in there but we did get a freaking really nice food saver i had one in the past uh, it's basically like the vacuum sealer we're gonna vacuum seal the fillets but it has like this razor thing in it to cut the bags and that got ate up with the salt water and it's just it started to get bad over time it was really convenient 
because it was like a hunting and fishing one. This one is just a freaking big behemoth of a food saver. It's a freaking mega food saver 3000. I don't know if it's going to be as convenient like portable wise like when we go on trips but we got that our electric fillet knife some stuff I needed for the truck and some boat wash stuff because as you guys saw the boat got freaking just it's the greatest dirtiness of all time it's a lot of just fish part of particles and particulate everywhere so we got the stuff let's go get the fish out of the ice I don't even know where I'm gonna fillet them yet I didn't think about that I don't really got a good fillet spot yet all right we'll figure it out brother cousins stay tuned we've got our fillet knife with our battery bank down here so we're gonna be running on the power of the battery and inside the cooler we have the mega grouper so let's we'll start off with the smaller one first goodness gracious look at that freaking unit Got some big fillets, now it's time for fish number two. This is a little bit bigger one. Goodness gracious, better shot placement on this guy too, so no messed up fillets. Last one, shot him through the side. Well, shot him through the face, came out the side. Messed up fillet a little bit. We've been working on this freaking machine behind the scenes for like a good 10 minutes. It's a little different than the old one we had, but um, we've got our fish here. Just nice, white, chunky fillets. Just gonna throw enough for uh, meals in these. So me and the old lady. <laughs> not, I hate calling her old lady. That just sounds gross. <laughs> Phil, I don't know why people say that. Me and my girl. Um, so dinner for two, basically. We're gonna try this out for the first time. We haven't tried this part yet. This is the... We don't see about it. There. Ladies and gentlemen, perfection. got a whole freaking plethora of fillets. We got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight bags. Some bags have three chunks, some bags have four chunks, some bags have two chunks. So, quick change of plans. Good old Jagad came this morning. Shoot. Don't hold up that little baby grouper. We know you got the freaking <laughs> mega daddy in there. He's in here. He came to fillet his fish too. So I think we're gonna do a group taste testing. We also got Hudson here as well. He's gonna help me with a project on the back building. It's gonna be freaking delicioso. Speaking of delicioso, I forgot to get the cheek meat out of my grouper and Jagad has the biggest grouper, which by default means he's got the biggest cheeks. Mm. You know what I mean? So. Uh, anyway, uh, Jagad, since he's using my cleaning station, which is just a makeshift cooler and a water hose, he is going to be donating his cheeks he's gonna be giving up to cheeks. the taste test. <laughs> so we're going to get four cheeks, <laughs> and we have four flavors. And if you guys didn't know, the cheek meat on the grouper is actually the best. It's like the sweetest meat. This is really sounding weird, but sweet cheeks are in the face of all your fish. And grouper are just big enough so you can really actually get the meat out, but it's really, really good. We'll show you guys. Um, these are the ducks seasonings. I was actually with these guys. Um, they're actually like some of my best friends on and off YouTube, which is good. But uh, ducks is uh, their company. And uh, I was up in Nebraska with them and we tried some of these seasonings on a bunch of different stuff. Frog legs, pigeons, ducks. Um, I'm trying to think. There was a bunch of different stuff, but it was really good. So me, doing the fishing, the catch and cook, stuff like that. I was like, I want some of these seasons to try on the fish. 
we haven't seen it on the fish. So first up, we've got all meat right here, which is what it says it is. It's for all the meat, but I don't know if it's for fish. I'm gonna actually call Andrew and see what he thinks is gonna be best too. We've got the buffalo here. We've got wild game. So most of this I think is gonna be meant for like poultry or like beef or chicken, stuff like that. We'll see. Uh, smoked barbecue. Shoo! How you doing, buddy? Got a question for you. I got all your duck okay. seasonings here. I got all four. I also got Trav filming you. We're doing a grouper catch and cook. Which seasoning do you think is gonna be best on the grouper? We're trying all four. We just wanted your vote on what you think is gonna be best. If I was to, uh, I'm trying to think buffalo would just sound like a naked filet. I'm not sure. I feel like that was probably your best bet. Um, I don't know. Hey, fish is, fish is tough with seasoning like that. Uh, I'm going all meat. All right, all meat. All meat. All meat. All meat. You're, gonna, you're, you're gonna taste the fish the most. All right. I feel like groupers and good eating fish. Uh, so I'm voting all meat, but I don't know. Maybe, maybe so you guys will decide something else. Perfect. All right, that you. We voted the same thing. I just fell in love with them on the frog okay. legs. But all right, buddy. Take it easy, man. Thanks for answering. Good luck, good luck, good luck. All right. Yeah. See you, buddy. Farmer Flair says all meat. That's kind of where I was going. He said the barbecue is probably not going to be good. He said wild game might not be good on fish. Really? Yeah. But we'll see. We'll see. Well, he said it's super barbecue, which he said he wouldn't do for fish. But he said buffalo or all meat were his things. But he went with all meat. So we'll see. We're going to let Jay Gad do his little magic wand. Got it. Oh. Two. Yes, sir. Three. Yes, sir. Keep that from going. Four. Faced mm -hmm. him up, dude. Faced him top sides. Oh, God. Especially with Oh, God. That's good. The seasoning's burning my eyes, man. Gotta make sure them tongs are tonging. Have, we've somehow managed to not screw this up so far. From going out into the ocean, not having gas in the boat, finding some new stuff, spearing a freaking monster, and cutting their little faces out and putting them on our grill. Cheek meat. Them sweet cheeks. Them sweet cheeks. First up is gonna be wild game. This one smells so Good. It's just Jared and I are gonna be taste or er, testing them. It's this corner right here. Cheers. Cheers, brother. Wild game. It's good. It's subtle. It just. I think it's very good. Yeah, it's I, nothing crazy. No. We also didn't go <clears throat> super hard because we didn't want to overdo the cheeks. You don't want to overdo your cheeks. Smoky barbecue. These two flavors so far are the ones Flair said he would not recommend on fish. Smoky barbecue. There's some more flavor there. That one's pretty dang good. That's pretty good. That almost makes it taste like a like a chicken wing. It does not taste like fish anymore. Uh-uh. But I would recommend that one. I absolutely would. No, I like that one a lot. Okay, that one so far. So far. Smoky barbecue's in the lead. I do think buffalo is gonna be a heavy hitter though. Just take a zoom in on that. The orange. Ready? We should have put more on. How is yours? Probably could use a little more. Yeah. I'd rather go light than heavy though, because you don't wanna. Don't I'd wanna say this it. one is behind smoky barbecue still. I can feel I the agree. heat now. Yeah, I would agree. All meat, baby. This is the heavy hitter. I had frog legs in Nebraska with all meat. I had freaking dove, duck, and all types of different weird animals with all meat. Cheers. Ready? There's a lot on this. That's the one, though. There's a lot on this, though. It's... Okay, it just... When you bite into it, you know. You know. I'm gonna eat this last one. Yeah, it's so. the little nugget. That's good, boy. Okay, all right. Unexpected results, though, here. Here's my here's my official ranking. Let's get down here. We got... Move over this little plate here. All right, so this, this rating is for grouper only. This changes with different meats for sure. I've had all these on different stuff. They're all good. The all meat by far, first place. Second place, Smoky Barbecue. Believe it or not, 
This one was freaking really good on grouper. Yeah. Was not expecting that. No, I Wish we would have done more. With the grouper fillets that I cut up earlier, I'm gonna be putting this on them, I think. Like, this is just a good change up. This one is good all the time. This is a good change up though. Um, I'm putting buffalo in third place because I feel like we didn't give it a fair chance. We didn't shake enough on there. So it was good. I felt the heat afterwards, but I didn't get that like that flavor punch in the beginning. I think that was our fault. And wild game, last but definitely not least. I mean, you heard Flair. He he said it's good on like other stuff. It's more of like the barbecue style. He doesn't really recommend it on fish. He does this on fish, which makes sense because it's freaking delicious. But is that the end of today's video? Oh my goodness, ladies and gentlemen, we have reached the end. What a day. Jay Gad spearing the biggest grouper of his life and the biggest grouper that I've personally ever seen and definitely the biggest grouper ever in that boat. So Jay Gad holds the record, which means I gotta come for it. I, I, I gotta I gotta I gotta set the record straight. I gotta get the record for the boat. So uh, we gotta get a few things done to the boat. We may do a kayak send spear fishing. So we'll if you guys wanna see us go out on the kayaks and drop into the same spots. Let me know in the comment section below. We can't use the boat right now because I'm having like throttle issues. I don't know. We'll see if we can get it figured out. With that being said, that's going to wrap it up. Thank you to Omaze for sponsoring today's video. Remember, you can click that link in the description below. Omaze is a crazy company. Always doing some wild stuff. So big thanks to them for sponsoring today's video. With that being said, that's going to wrap it up. Thank you so much for watching. And as always, we'll catch you on the next adventure. Don't forget to buy my merch also because after Thanksgiving, it's gone forever. And I'm not kidding. I'm so serious. I'm not one of those YouTube jokes. It's for all gone. All right, we'll catch you on the next adventure. Peace out. Ah. Sweet baby.